that squeaky. And I'm back again for another vlog. A little bit later than I thought I'd be. But I'm here now. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, for today's video, uh, I wanted to talk about something that uh, I've seen other videos on YouTube. Uh, uh, to discuss this subject and that's when uh, you say that you have autism and then the other person says you don't look autistic that hasn't happened to me but I I still find it like weird and also kind of offensive. First of all, uh, what do they mean when uh, someone says you don't look autistic? What are you saying? They might mean it as a compliment, but when you say that someone doesn't look autistic, uh, is that uh, as opposed to looking normal, what does looking normal look like? <laughs> what is normal? Normal is relative. And also, what does autism look like? Because autism is invisible, you know, it's, it's mental, it's all in your head, or, well, maybe that's poor choice of words, but you know, it's a mental condition, uh, so you can't see it on the outside. So people are saying, you don't look like you have a condition that I can't see. Huh? And also, all autistic people are different from each other. It, uh, autism varies greatly sometimes from person to person. There's a saying I've heard, uh, if you've met one person with autism, then you've met one person with autism. Different people with autism have different symptoms and they look different from each other and act differently even though they both have autism so there really isn't one autistic look. Maybe people are comparing you to a uh, fictional character that has autism like say uh, Dustin Hoffman in, in Rain Man. You don't look like Dustin Hoffman from Rain Man. Is that what they're saying? But Dustin Hoffman doesn't have autism. So are they saying that someone with autism doesn't look like someone who doesn't have autism? Or are they saying that someone who doesn't have autism looks more autistic than a person who does have autism. Hmm. Really makes you think. I think people probably have uh, preconceived ideas about what an autistic person looks like or, or also uh, behaves because uh, pe people look at your behavior and your behavior can look a certain way, so, so yeah, also including behavior. Or people think that uh, people who have autism have visible uh, characteristics that are associated with uh, autism, uh, like with Down syndrome. People born with Down syndrome will have 
of physical characteristics uh, associated with Down syndrome. Down syndrome can be diagnosed in the womb and manifests outwardly with an upward slant to almond-shaped eyes, a flatter face structure, smaller ears, hands, feet, and neck, kind of overall stature. Low muscle tone and a crease across the palm are also common, though it varies from person to person. But anyway, it is kind of offensive, even if the person means it as a compliment. Someone says you don't look autistic to a, another person, then what they're really saying is you don't look the way I thought an autistic person would look like. It's like saying you're not you, basically, because it is hurtful uh, in a way because if someone says you don't look autistic to, m to me, then they're kind of saying you don't measure up to my idea of what autism is or what an autistic person is, even though, you know, I'm the one who's been diagnosed by a professional and they are not a professional. <laughs> yeah. Who are you to decide what an autistic person looks like? So yeah, I guess this is also one reason why I don't uh, tell people that I have autism, uh, at, at least not like co-workers or, or non-family people because uh, I don't know how I would react to uh, if someone said you don't look autistic to me. So yeah, yeah, it's really not a good thing to say to someone. Yeah, so people really should stop saying that. But uh, anyway, that's going to be it for this vlog. And until next video, goodbye.